I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. Wow. Welcome, welcome to the Men of Impact podcast with your boy LAC, and I'm happy you're here with me. Let's get into it. Is Joe Rogan becoming or transitioning to being a Christian? Recently, he came out with a video on his podcast reacting to a video that came out in the 60s. This guy named Paul Harvey did a video about what he would do if he was a devil. And so Joe Rogan actually reacted to it. And let's see kind of look like Joe Rogan might be on the verge of potentially becoming a Christian or his eyes are opening up. Let's watch the video. If I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness and I'd have a third of its real estate and four fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. The. Really quick. For some of you who don't know, the is old English and it's even biblical English like King James English. What that means is you, right? So he's speaking in regards to, he's saying, if I were the devil, I would try to steal you. I will be going after you. Okay, let's go back. So I'd set about however necessary to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Really quick, Joe Rogan is not a Christian. So stuff like this is probably already making him feel uncomfortable. It's like, what the heck are you talking about? So we already know how Joe Rogan is. He hates Christians. He is always fighting Christians. He has a tug of war with Christians. And he is not into the Christian world. He thinks it's a myth. He thinks it's like fairy tale and he doesn't think it's true at all right so this is already making him feel an edge do as you please to the young i would whisper that the bible is a myth i would convince them that man created god instead of the other way around i would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square and the old i would teach to pray after me our father which art in washington and then i'd get organized i'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. Wow. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Wow from Joe Rogan. Now we can only imagine that he's saying that because it's like it's hitting him because it's true. When you look in society today, what this guy is talking about and what this guy is saying is reality. There's some truth to what this man is saying. Let's go back into it. Until each in its turn was consumed and with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions. Just let those run wild. Wow. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Holy shit. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting <laughs> pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. Deify science. In other words, make science become a god. How does Joe Rogan feel about that? He's all about science. He's all about logic. He's all about facts. He doesn't understand the aspect of faith or believing in something that, quote unquote, he says you can't see. But we understand that even the Bible talks about when you look at the creation, you can see God, his handprint in creation. This is literally what's happening. A lot of people think that science shows us that there is no God. And if you want to prove that there is a God, you got to back it up with science. Joe Rogan is in that place where he's like, nah. I'm all about the science. Show me the facts, right? Show me the car facts. Because <laughs> if you don't show me the car facts, then God ain't real. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states 
to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. Did you hear that? What are we talking about nowadays? Nobody, most people are saying marriage is not for me. I'd rather just shack it up. We just hang out. We chill. We don't got to get married. We don't got to do none of that. And then he said, I'll change it for swinging. Swinging will be more fun. What's swinging? Swinging is when you are in a relationship and you can do whatever you want with other people. Other people can have your partner. You can have their partner. That's disgusting. That's dark. That's wicked, and that is not of God. And so that's the world that we live in where people don't want to get married. They'd rather just have fun, right? They'd rather be together but not be consistently committed to each other in the sense of let's go get married. Let's make this a reality where I'm choosing you, you're choosing me for the rest of our life, and let's just go get married. And thus I could undress you in public, and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. What year was that? It was 65, but... Holy uh, sh... 1965. That's amazing. 65. Wow. April 3rd, 1965. Paul Harvey nailed it. Yeah. Wow. Joe Rogan was touched by this message i know he was and this is not even like a biblical prophecy by an actual prophet it wasn't this was just something that he was coming up with and saying if this was the case this is what i will do if you know he were the devil and the thing is joe rogan was was shook let's be honest he was shook and america should be shook and you should be shook because the world we're living in specifically what this dude was talking about this guy was saying back in 1965 we see it in reality porn is everywhere Children can access it. People are just walking around naked. It's all about gambling, drinking, smoking. Marriage is looked at as evil, right? A woman being uh, married to one man is looked at as weak. A man being married to one woman is looked at as, as, as weak. And we are just backward. Everything that was good is now evil. The Bible talked about it, right? In those days, good will become evil and evil will become good. And men will become lovers of themselves. And this is what we're seeing. People are becoming lovers of themselves. Nobody cares about truth no more. It's my truth. Shut your mouth. What the heck is that? Point blank, period. The truth. Ain't no such thing as my truth. Your truth could be you want to be with an underage person. And that's how you feel. That is your truth. Shut your mouth. You need Jesus. And at the end of the day, let's just keep it real. I'm not here to mess with you. Get out of my face. But this is a reality that we have to see. It's like the days that we're living in, you can see the handprint of the prince of the power of the, uh, of the air. Satan's handprint is all over the world. And we, need to, and we need to be people that would step up and say, no, God is who he says he is, and we're not going to allow the devil to just masquerade himself like he has this much authority, because he don't. Let me know what you think, and let's pray for Joe Rogan, because I do believe that something is down the line for him. And uh, uh, pray for yourself. Make sure you cover yourself in prayer. Comment below, like this video, and share, and I'll see you guys soon. It's your boy.